Well, it's been 12 years since the film Despicable Me had come out. It's gotten two sequels and a spin off series of, known as Minions, which were a big part of this movie. And I just saw their brand new sequel, Minions The Rise of Gru, now playing in theaters. But is this sequel anywhere better than the first one? Or is it just a despicable mess? Find out right now in this spoiler free review. At these entertainment rankings and reviews. So, greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a spoiler free review of the just now released computer anime comedy sequel. Minions, The Rise of Gru, released by Universal and produced by Illumination. This is the sequel to the spin-off Minions and fifth overall entry in the Despicable Me franchise, which if you have not seen my review for Minions, you can click on that card in case you might have missed it or if you want to see it again. So far, it's... It did pretty well since I posted it at the end of last month. Anyway, the film was directed by Kyle Balda with Brad Abelson and Jonathan Delval as co-directors. The film features Steve Carell reprising his role as Gru, who is young now, and Pierre Coffin as the Minions, along with the voices of Taraji P. Henson, Michelle Yeoh, Riza, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Lucy Lawless, Dolph Lundgren, Danny Trejo, Russell Brand, Julie Andrews, and Alan Arkin. Anyway, this film had been delayed for the last two years since the you-know-what, but finally we get this film out, and it's already become a big hit. And let me tell you something, it's done much better than Lightyear had more recently tried to do at the box office. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, the film takes place in 1976 as an 11-year-old Gru allows the means to work for him as their new leader. Well, soon he receives an audition invitation from the Vicious Six, a criminal organization founded by the supervillain Wild Knuckles who eventually got knocked off from the group and was now taken over by Bell Bottom and along with her crew including John Claude C L A W E D Nunchuck Svengeance Stronghold and, uh, well, that's that. Yeah, that's right. That was the Air Force. Anyway, but apparently something happens and why have you, he gets ditched and, well, dissed and why have you, because he's a kid. Well, they apparently steal the Chinese Zodiac, where, where they plan to turn humans into animals. Well, one of them on the Chinese Zodiac by Chinese New Year. But anyway, the Minions, Kevin Stewart and Bob, come to help. And now they've got a new member of the group, Otto, joined in. They go to San Francisco to save Gru. But that's all I'm going to tell you. I will not give you any more of the story. From what I've seen of this film, this film is a big step up from the last one. Don't get me wrong, I... Thought the first film was fun, but this one was definitely better. Yeah, the reviews are much better than what it was for the first one. Anyway, I like the story. And so far, it has lots more hystericalness and what have you. Apparently, we get to hear some gray old songs and what have you. Uh, that includes various songs from the 70s. Uh, really something. Some of those include songs we have heard from 
well, various artists. We heard um, the Carpenters is one of them, as one of those songs. But mostly they're um, cut. Now the soundtrack mostly features covers and what have you, with including uh, thing, the group Saint Vincent covering Lips Inks. Funky Town, which that was pretty darn good. There's also some other good tunes, including Turn Up the Sunshine by Diana Ross, along with Tame Impala. See, um, Brittany Howard and Verdine White covered Earth, Wind, and Fire's Shining Star. Well, now, The Carpenter's Goodbye to Love is actually featured, but it's covered by Phoebe Bridgers on the soundtrack. Let's see, um... Ides of March's vehicles in here, and it's done by Gary Clark Jr., who recently did a cover of Come Together, which, of course, you heard in the trailers and the actual original version of Justice League. Yeah. Anyway, plus lots of other songs. Anyway, I really think this was pretty good. Uh, the voice acting cast was good. Steve Carell, once again, does a great job as Gru. Pierre Coffin doing every single one of the minions. Next, we have Taraji P. Hansen voicing Bell Bottom. And Jean Claude is voiced by Jean Claude. Jean Claude Van Damme, that is. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Dolph Lundgren, who you know best from Rocky IV, Masters of the Universe, and several other films, as Svengeance. Danny Trejo, who you probably know him from several movies, has Stronghold. And Alan Arkin voices Wild Knuckles. Lucy Lawless, who most of y'all know best as a certain Xena, Warrior Princess, does the voice of Nunchuck. Let's see. Rizza voices a biker auto befriends. Then there's an acupuncturist and kung fu fighter who helps the minions on their quest, Master Chow, voiced by Michelle Yeoh, who recently appeared in A24's recent hit, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which I am going to try to see that. I know it's coming up on Physical Me, and I hope I get and see it. Also, we have Russell Brand back on board as Dr. Nefario and Julie Andrews as Marlena Grew, Grew's mother. Plus, we have Will Arnett and Steve Cooley reprising their roles of Mr. Perkins, the president of the Bank of Evil. Well, he would be, but he's a bank worker now. And, and Steve Coogan as Silas Ramsbaum, an agent who would later become the director of the Anti-Villain League. Yeah. So anyway, I like that. It just had a lot more fun stuff and great voices, great soundtrack. The story wasn't too bad here, so I gotta give this film credit. This was even better than the first one. I still consider it, I would consider it to be another good work for Illumination. So with that, I think y'all gotta check it out. It was really good. So for my score for Minions, The Rise of Gru, I will give this sequel five stars. Which of course means on a scale of one to ten, I'm giving it a ten. Definitely. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really liked it. So what are your thoughts on Minions, The Rise of Gru? Tell me in the comment section below. If you like this, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And stay tuned. Next time, I'll be giving you my June rewatches and first-time watches rankings, which, of course, will be separately. So thanks for watching, and if you like this, consider checking out my reviews for these other films. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of the one that started all for Illumination, Despicable Me. The upper right-hand corner is my review of Illumination's recent hit, Sing 2, from last year. Or go to the bottom left-hand corner and see my review for a recent anime Italian Universal release not so long ago. And that's DreamWorks Animation's The Bad Guys, which of course is now on physical media and streaming on Peacock. And the bottom right hand corner is a button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.